I've just saved your life, but he didn't say that. He said, sir, I slipped in the mud. And that was it. I see, he said. That stiff upper lip. A pilot in World War II, his father moved to helicopters in later combats before, in 1957, being asked to set up the helicopter section of the Queen's flight, changing the way the royal family travelled. How did he feel about flying the royal family? It was quite stressful, of course, but I think um, the memories of it are very good. And he got a lot of letters um, thanking him for this lawn-to-lawn -lawn service and taking them to Balmoral, the Castle of May with the Queen Mother, um, uh, Windsor Castle. With the Queen Mother, she would invite him in for a drink at the end, sort of thing, if he was off duty, of course. Here he joined in the tributes following the Queen Mother's death. I flew her probably 70 or 80 times, and each time... She showed courtesy, she had a sense of humour, she was everything that a mother should be. The incident with the Duke of Edinburgh was kept low-key, just a brief entry in the logbook. But the injuries squadron leader Mackenzie Hall suffered marked the end of his service career, an act of quiet heroism finally grounding him. Sarah Smith, BBC South East Today, Hurstman Sue. Well, let's move on to football now. And Brighton and Hove Albion women's boss Hope Powell has been named the top flights manager of the month for February. After two heavy defeats at the end of January, Powell guided her side to victories over women's Super League leaders Chelsea and West Ham. It was Chelsea's first league defeat in 33 games. I accept it on behalf of the players and staff. I think, you know, the players in particular deserve the biggest recognition. Um, because they're the ones who actually go out and, and, and play and have to perform in order for this, this to, to happen. And to this weekend's action, and Brighton and Hove Albion's men travel to Southampton in the Premier League. Kick-off on Sunday is at 12 noon, with Graham Potter's side in desperate need of some points to pull away from the drop zone. In League One, Gillingham head to Swindon Town tomorrow for a 1pm start, and Crawley Town are at home to Mansfield Town in League Two. Finally, Lewis are on the road in the Women's Championship with a midday start at Blackburn Rovers on Sunday. Now, this year, Red Nose Day is on Friday the 19th of March and Comic Relief is asking for your help to share a smile. We'd like you to tell us your favourite joke, so film it, then please post it up at bbc.co.uk forward slash make a difference. Now, just before we get the weather forecast, Nina's here. And Nina, you have some quite amazing cloud formations. Yes, for us. yesterday evening we saw some Mamata's cloud, so called because of their rather udder like appearance. And they're quite rare because they form in cold air that's sinking. And they are as round storm clouds. We had some cumulonimbus clouds last night. And when we combine those with a sunset, a pretty spectacular scene can be formed, as you've been sharing with us. So our weather watchers today have been sending in more pictures. Still some showers around. We've had some further downpours, but equally some drier spells with some sunshine. Different weather phenomenon of a rainbow today. Now over the weekend, it is going to be pretty windy, particularly overnight tonight. For most of us, lots of dry weather, some sunny spells, can't rule out perhaps the odd shower around, and it does stay a little on the cool side. Not particularly cold by night. That's because we've got those strong winds, some clouds, some showers to begin with, with a spell of heavier rain as we head in towards the early hours. So temperatures tomorrow morning around about 5, 6 degrees. Still those strong winds gusting to around about 40 to 50 miles an hour during the early hours. And they do remain with us throughout the day, particularly around the coast. Any showers? fairly isolated for most of us it's going to be dry with some sunshine and those temperatures of around about nine to ten degrees 
through Saturday evening and overnight into Sunday morning. Dry with some clear spells, but still quite breezy out there. So no signs of any frost with temperatures first thing on Sunday at around three or four degrees. The best of any sunshine on Sunday is during the morning. We'll see some bright skies into the afternoon. Whilst it is generally dry, the cloud will tend to increase and by the evening we'll start to see some rain pushing in from the west. Possibly a degree or so higher, those temperatures at around about 9 to 10 degrees. We'll then stay dry as we head into Monday, but that area of high pressure is short-lived because by Tuesday we'll start to see some more weather fronts moving in, bringing some cloud and some outbreaks of rain. Linda. We'll enjoy that brief uh, high pressure. Thank you, Nina. And that is it from us for now. I'll be back with your late update at 10.25. Have a good evening. Bye for now. What's coming up on BBC Sport over the weekend? It's the first of three women's hockey internationals between Ireland and Great Britain. You can watch that on the iPlayer on Saturday at 2. On Sunday, you can follow updates on the BBC Sport app on the second T20 international between India and England. Also on Sunday, there's live Premier League football Southampton against Brighton on BBC One at 11.45. And don't forget Sports Day at 6.30 and 7.45 tomorrow on the BBC News Channel. It's part of my job to wear a big smile on my face. But like a lot of people in my generation, I struggle with my mental health. But I'm talking about this now because of what happened to my friend. Why are so many young men struggling? That's what I have to figure out. Roman Kemp, our silent emergency. Tuesday at nine on BBC One and iPlayer. Four minutes. Quick, isn't it? Ah! You make me nervous. Oh, 90 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. She should be serving now. Stop, time's up. Nothing like leaving it to the last Ooh. minute, is there? What's that you say? The weekend? Don't mind if I do. Welcome to BBC One, straight out the blocks with Sue and the boys in 35 minutes. But first, a very special guest for a very special challenge.